is the start of a year of celebration for Lydia Gaston, for tonight is her golden anniversary celebrating 50 years as a teacher of dance. To describe in a few words her own illustrious career as a dancer is impossible. A winner of scholarships, one to the great Ballet Russe in New York, some of the greatest teachers in dance have been her mentors. She even got a scholarship to the school of the legendary Martha Graham for modern dance. But it is as a teacher and choreographer that Lydia Gaston's legacy is greatest. Recognizing her contribution to the cultural development of the Philippines, the National Commission for Culture and the Arts honored Lydia Gaston with a national award in dance education in 1998. In a country where punctuality is a word yet to be added to the Philippine Dictionary, Lydia doesn't only teach her students to dance, but instills discipline and punctuality into them. They achieve such a high standard that all her students who attended the Cultural Center of the Philippines workshops were granted scholarships. But to understand Lydia, you have to hear her talk about teaching and what it means to her. What does teaching mean to you? Oh, it is my passion. It is a prayer to me. I love it. Her husband, Victor Gaston, or Toy as he's affectionately known, is Lydia's greatest support. He oversees the production and is seen here in the beautiful University of St. LaSalle Coliseum. One is set in a small village in the mountains. Giselle, a peasant girl, is in love with Albrecht. What she doesn't know is that Albrecht is of noble birth and promised to another. Hilarion, the gamekeeper, is also in love with Giselle. He finds Albrecht's sword with its coat of arms and shows it to Giselle. This is too much for her. She goes mad and at the end of Act One, she dies. <laughs> 